check. One, two, three.
welcome to this commencement in the 141st year in the life of the university. Today, we honor the 2023 graduating students for their academic achievements. Our invocation will be given by Pastor Matthew Ginter. After the invocation, please join in singing the national anthem led by Dr. Carrie Teeple. And please remain standing until we've completed the national anthem. Well, as we come into this time together, I would invite you to join me in prayer. Let's pray together. Sovereign God, our only source of joy and hope that do not end. We come to you today with hearts filled to overflowing with thanks at this occasion. Your spirit of wisdom has sustained the many graduates gathered here over the past several years as they engaged in their studies, equipping them with the knowledge, the creativity, and the determination needed to succeed here and now go out into the world to live meaningfully and serve productively. As each prepares to walk across the stage, Lord, we pray that you might strengthen their steps with the confidence that comes from seeing your hand at work to this point. No matter the anxiety about what may lay ahead, any uncertainty that might shroud future plans. We thank you, Lord, for the love and sacrifice of family and friends who have done so much to help make this moment today come to pass. We thank you for professors, for staff, for administrators who have cultivated and crafted the academic journeys of those graduating. We thank you that these graduates have had each other, shoulder to shoulder amidst academic rigors, arm in arm in vibrant life-giving community. As they move into a new chapter of life, we pray patience and hope for each and every one as they pursue the calling that you have on their life. Give them courage to face the challenge of carving out a new place in society and strength to resist the temptations of greed, of laziness, of pride, and of envy. All temptations that come inevitably with such new ventures. And may they have a deep desire to serve faithfully. May they have a heart to work hard. Shine over them, we pray. Fill them with your spirit. Bless them with your favor and your peace, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through Finley has served as the Executive Director of the Churches of God General Conference since 2015. An ordained pastor of the Churches of God General Conference, he has worked in ministry for nearly three decades. Prior to his present role, he served in a variety of church leadership roles, including pastoral ministry in two local congregations, seminary administration, and denominational leadership. 
His years in leadership have been marked by his ability to help church leaders understand changing culture while developing strategies to help congregation engage their community in life-giving outreach. In addition to working with congregations throughout the United States, his work as executive director has afforded him the opportunity to travel to and work with church and community leaders in Asia, Africa, Europe, and South America. This experience has given him a deep appreciation for our global community and the richness each unique tribe, people, and culture brings to this world. He has served as a member of the Board of Trustees of the University of Finley since 2016. He also serves as a member of the Board of Trustees of Weinbrenner Theological Seminary. He has previously served on numerous boards in the community, including Habitat for Humanity, the Great Lakes Foundation, and Mission Possible. He also joyfully serves as the chaplain of our University of Finley Euler football team. He is a graduate of Eastern Illinois University with a Bachelor of Science in Business. He is also a graduate of Weinbrenner Theological Seminary where he received a Master of Divinity with a specialization in evangelism and church growth. He is married to Brenda and they reside in Findlay with their three children, Carter, Molly, and Connor. Please welcome Pastor Lance Findlay. Thank you, Dr. Fell, and congratulations, class of 2023. Your hard work and perseverance have paid off, and today stands as just the first of many milestones and accomplishments in your young and promising lives. Uh, Dr. Fell, do you realize how dangerous this is today? I learned how to preach under the guidance of a dear man who would exposit the scriptures for at least 45 minutes to an hour every Sunday. As his young assistant, uh, this meant that I would be greeted with high fives, smiles, and attaboy when my message only lasted 35 minutes. You've given me eight to 10 minutes to get this job done. It's, it's a dangerous endeavor indeed, but I think I'm up for the task. Sit back, relax, we've got a story in three points and we'll be on with the rest of it. Uh, March 3rd, 1929 is a day that helped make me who I am today. It was nearly 100 years ago and it was nearly 40 years before I was born, but its significance has given shape to who I am as a person. It was on March 3rd, 1929, that my great-grandfather, John Melville Finley, called my grandfather, John Steele Finley, into his room as they awaited uh, upon the ambulance to arrive to take him to the local hospital for a surgery. He explained that if the surgery failed and that he didn't survive, that my grandfather, who was just 14 years old at the time, would be the man of the house in charge with taking care of and providing for his mother, his two sisters, and his two brothers. Well, you know how this story probably turns out. My great-grandfather didn't survive the surgery that day. Just months before his 15th birthday, John Steele Finley, my grandfather, became the sole breadwinner and the head of the household as he began to manage the family farm. Of course, students of history here will realize the importance of the year 1929. This was just a mere seven months before Black Thursday and the onset of the Great Depression, one of the most difficult eras our country has ever faced. Uh, my own father, John Marlin, would come along just 12 years later, and if you're curious, yes, I'm John Lance. We keep this thing running for a while. But my own father, John Marlin, was born into the abject poverty of rural southern Illinois at the tail end of the Great Depression. And while I have never experienced the same hardships of my father or my grandfather, their experience has given shape to the way I see and experience life, sometimes in ways in which I understand and other times when I don't see it. Uh, for instance, if you go into my kitchen today 
and open a certain drawer, you'll find a plastic tub filled with the plastic uh, clips that you use to tie off a loaf of bread because there might be a run on those someday and I want to be prepared for that moment. I won't go into the links I go to to get the most out of a Ziploc sandwich bag, but you get the idea. Uh, I, I've picked up some things from family members that were raised without, and it impacts me every day. Uh, even though I've never experienced the same kind of poverty or great need, their experiences have helped shape the way I think and live today. But there's another part of this story that I didn't know until my grandfather's death in 1998. And parents and grandparents, just a note, don't let your kids hear the best parts of your story at your funeral. Tell those stories now while you can. But my grandfather's dream growing up was to become a veterinarian. I think he would love the University of Finley and the opportunities here in animal sciences. Uh, before his father passed away, he had been awarded a scholarship that would have sent him to prep school which would have put him on the trajectory of accomplishing his dream of attending college to study veterinary science. And when his own father died, those dreams came crashing down as he forfeited that scholarship because he had to take care of his family. As a result of that, my grandfather had a stubborn desire and almost an unreasonable commitment to see his children and his grandchildren benefit from the educational opportunities that weren't afforded to him. Because of this, my family developed a high value for higher education and the opportunities that it provides. It's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about the University of Finley and our mission to prepare students for meaningful lives and productive careers. So why do I tell you this story? Well, there's three things I want you to walk away with today. First is this, embrace your story. Every single person in this room has a story that gives shape to who you are. Some of you have never slowed down long enough to reflect upon what's helped to shape you and mold you into the person you are today. Others of us here sometimes live with a sense that uh, your story doesn't measure up because it's not as dramatic maybe as others. Still others may wrestle with the more difficult chapters of your story. Uh, some of you here today are the first to watch, walk across a stage like this to receive a degree of higher learning. Others of you have overcome enormous challenges and struggles to arrive at this point today. Uh, your story is significant. Do you understand what's helped shape you and form you into the person you are today? Do you know your story? If you do, embrace it and own it and cherish it and celebrate it. There are rich treasures to be mined when you come to embrace your story and who it's made you to be. The second point is this. Develop an insatiable curiosity when it comes to learning the stories of others. Be the kind of person who genuine, genuinely wants to know what makes others tick. Be the kind of person who is constantly asking others, what's your story? Tell me about your life. How did you come to this place? Because you sincerely want to understand what drives and motivates them to do the things they do. Know that as rich as knowing your own story may be, it's often even more impactful to understand someone else's story and what's shaped them as a person. In recent years, I've been privileged to sit in rooms full of people from diverse backgrounds and viewpoints and sometimes even worldviews. These are rooms where people can be polar opposites, both in their personality and in their ideology. And I've marveled at what happens in the room as each person uh, is given an opportunity to share their story and how they've come to see the world as a result of their experiences in life. These diverse and even oppositional perspectives often walk away with a new sense of appreciation for one another, in part due to the realization 
that we share far more in common than we might realize. We need more of this in our world today. Lastly, commit to making service a key component of your own story. I want you to think back to your first days here on the campus of the University of Finley. Most of you, if you had the typical experience here at Finley, I spent a whole day in your early weekend at Finley going out into the community in small teams to serve others in this community. Some of you did landscaping for the elderly folks here in Finley. Some of you painted homes that needed a little freshening up. Others of you read with students that were lagging behind. Others of you uh, had the opportunity to work with different agencies here in the community. But it, it was one of your first lessons here on campus, perhaps because it's one of the most important lessons you learn here. To be an oiler is to be a servant leader, to offer your gifts and talents in service to others. Jesus says that the road to true greatness is found through service to others. And I dare say that to, in order to live a meaningful life and have a productive career, that you have to discover those things through your willingness and ability to serve others. Our world is desperate today for young leaders like you who are equipped with a strong grasp of their own story who seek to understand the stories of others and the forces that shape them, and who ultimately live in such a way that they use their gifts and talents and abilities in service for the well-being of others. Go and be that type of person. May God richly bless you as you go. Thank you, Pastor Finley, for your thoughtful comments. We will now award degrees to the graduating students. We have reached that moment. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> we have reached that moment when we recognize the 2023 graduates of the University of Finley. We will be introducing only those students who are able to attend today's ceremony, but all graduates are listed in the program. Students will be called up to the stage by the degree groups in the order listed in your program. Madam President, it is now my privilege to present to you the 2023 graduating class. Dr. Ron Tully, Dr. Kirby Overton, and Dr. Julie McIntosh will announce the degree candidates. So at this time, will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts please stand? Madam President, these candidates have completed all requirements for the Bachelor of Arts, and I hereby present them to you so that you may confer upon them the degree they have earned. Upon approval of the faculty, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, and under authority granted to the University of Findlay, I confer upon each of you the degree of Bachelor of Arts, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Ashley Brooke Allen, summa cum laude. <laughs> Abdullah Abdul Mohsin Al Shamari. <laughs> Bryce Allen Barto. Kayla Marie Bays, magnum cum laude. Andrew Chastine Bolton, magnum cum laude. Gray Nicholas Bransifort. Support. 
Heather Lynn Audrey Brimmer, magnum cum laude. Laura Valentino Brito Morgado, magna cum laude. Jacob Daniel Brown, summa cum laude. Taylor Christensen. Catherine K. Crow, cum laude. Lydia Merrick Dillon. McKenna Dosik, summa cum laude. Cameron John Green. Katie Greiner. Samuel R. Hardenberg. <laughs> Emily Hanthorn, magnum cum laude. <laughs> Olivia Hyatt, magnum cum laude. <laughs> Christopher Joyce, magnum cum laude. Danby Kim. <laughs> Haley Morgan Crazer. <laughs> Jessica Ellen LaFontaine, summa cum laude. <laughs> Cassidy M. Martin. Lauren Emily Miley, magnum cum laude. Alexander Vaughn Miller, cum laude. Nolan P. O'Connell, cum laude. Clarissa Ramirez, summa cum laude. Colton J. Ross. Hope Elizabeth Roth, cum laude. Serena Samarone, magnum cum laude. Elaine Schaffner. Lauren Elizabeth Schroeder, magnum cum laude. Jenna R. Simon, cum laude. Ashley Marie Van Hoos. Daniel Benjamin White, magnum cum laude. <laughs> Jessica Dawn Whitener, summa cum laude. Sarah Lynn Whitman, magnum cum laude. Jack Yader. <laughs> Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science please stand? <laughs> Madam President, these candidates have completed all requirements for the Bachelor of Science, and I hereby present them to you 
so that you may confer upon them the degree they have earned. Upon approval of the faculty in behalf of the Board of Trustees and under authority granted to the University of Findlay, I confer upon each of you the degree of Bachelor of Science with all the rights, responsibilities, and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Sarah Abdallah. Skylar M. Albers, summa cum laude. Stephen James Albert, summa cum laude. Kazara Adelbarg. Afifa Hassan Algahirash. Muat Hassan Alhazami. Lindsay Grace Allen Magnum Cum Laude. Tegan Allen. Abdullah Abdulmasan Al Shamari. Lejing Jelwe Alvarado Alvarez, cum laude. Madison Nicole Ambergi. William. William Abrogast. Madison Elizabeth Arquette, cum laude. Kailian Bailayet. <laughs> Cassidy L. Baran, summa cum laude. Kaylee Barnett, cum laude. Emily Rose Barr. Kylie Amber Bart. Lakin. Lakin K. Basham. <laughs> Sophia Beeler. Alexander L. Bayari. Bryn E. Billing, summa cum laude. Jacob Robert Bills, summa cum laude. Grace Binky. Joshua Eric Bishop, cum laude. Dakota Lloyd Eugene Blanton. Christine Bolin. Allie Ann Bridgeford, magnum cum laude. Emma Brinkman, summa cum laude. Laura Valentino Brito Morgado, magnum cum laude. Nathan L. Burns, cum laude. Andrew Bryson, cum laude.
Victoria Bozinski. Max Edward Burhan, cum laude. Megan Faith Burkett, magum cum laude. Laura Caswell, cum laude. Araceli L. Sedano. Paige A. Trinisky. Mara Cipollone. Riley Jamison Clark. Andrew David Kodaida, magnum cum laude. Ashlyn Lee Coleman. Riley Catherine Combs. Cole Austin Condon, cum laude. Alexis Cook, cum laude. Fletcher Allen Cook, magnum cum laude. Rachel A. Cook. Christopher Cooper. Daphne Cooper. Ella Cornwell, summa cum laude. Braden Marie Kraft. Lauren Abigail Creaky. Cassidy Autumn Crooks. Amber Danielle Cummins, magnum cum laude. Ella Damschroeder. Bailey Deal, cum laude, magnum cum laude. Gabriella E. DePaulo. Megan Donaher. Ariana Danielle DuPont. Chase Ebanks, magnum cum laude. Sydney Durnell, cum laude. Joseph T. Edmonds, magnum cum laude. Victoria Gracie Ellenwood. Paige Corinne Emnett, summa cum laude. Amelia R. Enfinger. Morgan May England. Abigail Madeline Erder. Doris M. Evans. Robin Grace Ierly, magnum cum laude. Sarah Felgar. Lexis Kiara Fickle.
Mason Fierro. Emily Malia Fisher. Megan Marie Fisher. Elizabeth L. Flynn, I. Flynn, sorry about that, magnum cum laude. Taylor, or Tyler S. Francis, that. Jordan Frazier. Alexa Nicole Fries. Kaylee Ann Furge, magna cum laude. Anthony Marcus Fusco, summa cum laude. Brenna K. Gallagher. D'Angelo Garner. Dylan R. Gary, cum laude. Morgan Gaskins. Summer Lynn Gaylog, cum laude. Luke S. Gazarek, summa cum laude. Ashley Gish, magna cum laude. Mark Ivanov. Gracie Glaser, cum laude. Addison D. Graham. Austin Deborah Granditz. Claire Gromlich. Simone Marsha Green, cum laude. Brianne Greer, summa cum laude. Edward George Greer, the fourth. Susan Gruby, magna cum laude. Faith Gurney. Chloe Guthrie. Alexander Enrique Guterres. Hannah Hyduck. Bailey M. Hall. Zachary James Hammonds. Madison Hangauer, cum laude. Mallory L. Hardesty. James Ernest Harding, cum laude. Logan E. Harris. Natalie Nicole Harris, magna cum laude. Lauren E. Hartzell, summa cum laude.
Kennedy Lee Hayden, magna cum laude. Elena Kate Hetrick. Lauren Faye Henderson. Brenna Sue Marie Herman. Jennifer Ann Heron. Caitlin Hershey, magna cum laude. Corey Elizabeth Hess. Hannah Rebecca Hayes. Zachary Hiller. Hiler. Hannah E. Haney, cum laude. Lane Hollingsworth, cum laude. Brianna T. Holtzman, cum laude. Emily Ann Hornberger. Savannah G. Howard, cum laude. Madison Huck, cum laude. Sydney Lynn Hudson. Heather Hunter. Emily Wynn. Pietro William Inero. Riley Christine Imes. Andrea Iliff. Jeremiah Keith Jackson. Andrew J. Jacobs. Taylor Mercedes Jones, magna cum laude. Megan Marie Jergens. Adriana Judy. Haley P. Kaufman. Caitlin Irene Kellis. McKenna Kemp. Jo jo sorry, Joshua Kilgore, magna cum laude. <laughs> Kayla Nicole Kokotovic, summa cum laude. Connor Matthew Kraus, cum laude. Morgan Kuhlman, magna cum laude. Jessica Ellen LaFontaine, summa cum laude. Teresa Lamantia, cum laude. Michaela Angeline Leroy. Yeah. 
Eden Lasley, cum laude. Catherine E. Leary. Jared Allen Leopard, magna cum laude. Caroline Grace Layden, cum laude. Joshua Lynn. Alice M. Magram. Macy M. Maligan, summa cum laude. Michael D. Malone. <laughs> Abigail Marie Mary Elke. Hunter Marlowe. Keandre D. Marlowe. Abigail Martins, cum laude. Cade Matthew McCaskey. Cameron Niles McIver. Bianca L. Mella. Riley M. Metzger, summa cum laude. Emma Catherine Meyer, cum laude. Jessica Catherine Meyer, summa cum laude. Jim Aquino Meyer. Savannah M. Meyer, magna cum laude. Zachary W. Meyer, magna cum laude. Jacob Darren Michael. Megan Elizabeth Miller, summa cum laude. Jarrett C. Miller, summa cum laude. Andrew Sherman Milligan, cum laude. Nicholas Maluzzi, magna cum laude. Morgan Mitchell. Svetlin Mitef. Madison M. Melzna, magna cum laude. Brianna Mobley, summa cum laude. Danilo Morlini, cum laude. Kaylee Morse, cum laude. Valerie H. Mullenkamp. Alex Dwight Mutchler, summa cum laude. Caitlin Renee Myers, summa cum laude. Cameron Now, magna cum laude.
Audrey Brooke Nessler. Samantha Marie Nicholson. Mitchell Lavern Kneecamp, summa cum laude. McKenna Marie Nice, cum laude. Claire E. Nutter, summa cum laude. Ryan O'Flanagan, cum laude. Nathan Daniel Osborne, magna cum laude. Hannah L. Otley, summa cum laude. Andrew Brian Owens. Nadine Star Page. Avery S. Oliver. DeAndre A. Palmer. Evan Pitt, magna cum laude. Rachel Poling. Haley Powers. Tyler Pratt. Maxwell Lawrence Pranger. Nicholas Ribley. Carter Reinbolt. Joseph Reinick. Christopher Remark, cum laude. Michael J. Reigerman. Victoria Ritzler, magna cum laude. Dalton Robert Rockhold, cum laude. Seth Rosleberger. Hannah Michelle Roy. Sonia Sabah. Jacob Sanders. Carter Paul Sapp. Kendall Marie Sattler, magna cum laude. Alexandria Sue Sauber, cum laude. Mercedes L. Schaefer, magna cum laude. Amber Rose Shower. Cameron Ray Schmidt. Sage Morgan Schnell, cum laude. Clay Allen Schoen. Ellie Schroll, cum laude. Alexandra Schultz. Holden R. Scribner. Maria L. Shane. Yeah. 
Ainsley V. Sherman, magna cum laude. Ivy Sipple. Haley Skilton, summa cum laude. Carrie Sleeves. Bethany J. Smith, magna cum laude. Molly Christine Smith. Hannah Snell. Hope Olivia Snyder, magna cum laude. Peter Song. Jack T. Soper, magna cum laude. Karaya L. Spencer, bachelor. Devin Stalling, cum laude. Savannah Taylor Starkey. Christina Marie Stevens. Morgan A. Stickney. Cameron Stein, cum laude. Timothy Logan Stallings, summa cum laude. Caden Rain Stoper. Caitlin Michelle Sabota. Lillian Swales. Deborah Schwartzfeger, summa cum laude. Samuel Sean Thacker, magna cum laude. Riley T. Thobe, sorry, Riley D. Thobe. Jared Thomas. Michaela Troop, magna cum laude. Tyler Drake Trammell, cum laude. Gregory Payton Trask. Hannah Tyler. Michaela Utlek. Anthony J. Vandermeer. Sabrina Marie Vicardepain. Olivia N. Velarchik, cum laude. Michaela Gabrielle Vonsengern. Magna cum laude. Abigail Wagner, cum laude. Regan Ward, cum laude. Austin Connor Watt. Emily Wayland, summa cum laude. Chase Wilcox, cum laude. Megan A. Wilkinson. Bailey Rochelle Wilson, summa cum laude. 
Thomas M. Wolf, summa cum laude. Leanne LaRue Walters, summa cum laude. Alexis Wright, summa cum laude. Bethany Yankoff. Olivia D. Young. Anna Elizabeth Youngless, summa cum laude. Jacob M. Zarzanki, summa cum laude, or, sorry, cum laude. Jalissa Zwiebel, summa cum laude. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Business Management please stand? Madam President, these candidates have completed all requirements for the Bachelor of Science in Business Management, and I hereby present them to you so that you may confer upon them the degree they have earned. Upon approval of the faculty in behalf of the Board of Trustees and under authority granted to the University of Finley, I confer upon each of you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Management with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Taylor Don Lighty, summa cum laude. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing please stand? <clears throat> Madam President, these candidates have completed all requirements for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and I hereby present them to you so that you may confer upon them the degree they have earned. Upon approval of the faculty and on behalf of the Board of Trustees and under authority granted to the University of Findlay, I confer upon each of you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Jordan K. Crowell. Caitlin McKenzie Hildebrand. Kennedy C. Hiltner, magna cum laude. Cassidy Aaron Jones. Lindsay Marie Klusner. Sarah Lipscomb, magna cum laude. Emma Catherine Miller, summa cum laude. Lauren E. Mosier. Bailey Madison Mullins. Elizabeth E. Talabak. Tarn Min Trin. Madeline Marie Turner. Chloe Webb. Katie Lynn Zufall, cum laude.
Will the candidates for the Associate of Arts please stand? <clears throat> Madam President, these candidates have completed all requirements for the Associate of Arts, and I hereby present them to you so that you may confer upon them the degree they have earned. Upon approval of the faculty on behalf of the Board of Trustees and under authority granted to the University of Finley, I confer upon each of you the degree of Associate of Arts with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Emily Quinn Johnson, summa cum laude. Kaylee Morse, cum laude. Recognize, and sorry. So I don't have a dialogue, so please just have him come up. Oh, I'm sorry. This young man was unable to walk in a graduate ceremony this morning, and so we are going to have him process across the stage this afternoon. So. <laughs> Joshua Honemba Okei. Thank you, Dr. Fields. <laughs> we would now like to recognize a number of very important people in addition to our graduates who have played major roles in the education of these graduates. We celebrate all the families of those graduating today, including spouses, parents, grandparents, children, and other members or friends who have supported our graduates. Would you all please stand so that our graduates can express appreciation to you. Thank you. Thank you. You may be seated. Faculty and staff, of course, play a major role in the, in the accomplishments of our graduates. We are fortunate to have a dedicated and talented faculty and staff at the University of Finley. Will all members of our faculty and staff please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Thank you. Trustees of the university play an important role in setting the policies and standards by which the university serves its students and our society. They are committed to assuring a high quality education at the University of Findlay. Will members of the Board of Trustees please stand to be recognized. Thank you, thank you. Following the alma mater and the benediction, faculty and administrators will lead the graduates to the Griffith Memorial Arch. We will pause on our way so that families and other guests will have time to make their way to the arch. Thank you for joining us for the 2023 commencement ceremony. Please rise for the singing of alma mater.
receive these words of benediction. May the Lord bless you and keep you as you go from this place. May he be gracious to you and give you peace as you move forward back through the arch and out into a wide and waiting world. Amen.